today we're going to run down my now sizable fleet of ships that I have available in Star Citizen, where I got it and why. This video is brought to you by Rich Wallet. Rich is redefining the wallet with their compact wallets made from premium materials. Their wallets are easily half the size of traditional wallets, but despite that, they can still hold up to a 12 card and has a money tip on the side. Want to carry coins or key? No problems. Rich got you covered with their optional cavity tray. All their wallets also come with RFID blocking to prevent digital theft. So check out Rich Wallet on rich.com forward slash D2EA and use offer code D2EA to get 10% off. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Star Citizen with Down to Earth Astronomy. I want to show you every single ship that I own in Star Citizen and we're going to start with the cheapest and work our way up to the most expensive one. And the cheapest ship I own is the Robert Space Industry Aurora ES. I got this ship as a bonus referral ship, so when you're part of the referral program, sometimes during some events you might get a bonus ship. This was one of them. It's a small multi-role ship with a single seat, not really that much internal space. You can get this at the New Deal Shipyard on Norwell for 124,100 Alpha UC. Next up, we have the Kruger P-52 Merlin. This is a snub fighter. So there's no quantum drive on this, so it can't quantum, but it's intended to be docked at the rear end of an Andromeda-class ship. I got this doing the 2950 ship showdown, also as a bonus referral ship. Sometimes they'll give out these uh, smaller ships. It is a small fighter, but again, with no quantum drive, you can't really take it far. It needs to carry it around in another ship. You can get this ship at the Astra Armada on Area 18 for 135,500 Alpha UC. Next, we have the Robert Space Industry Aurora MR. This was my starter ship. This was the one I got when I got the uh, starter pack originally. So this is the ship I've been owning for the longest time. This is classified as a small combat ship. And you can get this at the New Deal Shipyard for 184,900 Alpha UC. I also own the LN variant of the Aurora class ship. Now this is also classified as a combat variant. It is slightly better, I think, than the uh, than the MR. It has better missiles, uh, but it's also quite a bit more expensive. You can again New Deal. You can get this for 338,400 Alpha UC. Next we have the Origin. 85X Limited. This is the first ship on the list that I actually bought with in-game money. You will see a lot of the Origin ships I've actually purchased myself in-game because I really like Origin ships. They're very pretty. This is essentially a sports car and that's why I got it because it just looks, it feels, it flies like if you were driving a sports car. I intended was to take this and use it as a little shuttle, dock it on a bigger ship, fly around with it and use this to get on and off planets if you don't want to do it in bigger ships. But I actually found it extremely fun to fly and with a price tag of 575,500 Alpha UC at the New Deal shipyard on Lowell, that was a no-brainer for me. Next I have the Mustang Gamma. I got this as part of the referral program for reaching 25 referrals. This is the racing variant of the Mustang. The Mustang class of ships has multiple variants for different roles. This is the racing variant. And you can get this at the Astro Armada at Area 18 for 627,500 Alpha UC. Then we have the Origin 100i. And again, it's Origin, so I bought it in-game for in-game money. This is just because I think it's such a pretty ship. I will always love the 100 and the 300 series of ships. I think they look uh, amazing. And again, I was kind of intended to use this as, for the same role as the uh, X, uh, 85X. It is classified as a Pathfinder ship, so it is like a small exploration ship. I think the fuel tank is a little underwhelming, but if you want to try it out yourself, you can get it either at the New Deal on Norwell or Astro Armada at Area 18 for 654,000 Alpha UC. Then I have the Aegis Avenger Stalker. This is a interceptor variant of the uh, Avenger Titan that some of you may be familiar with. It's a common starter ship where the Titan is a courier. This is an interceptor variant. I got this again part of the referral program for 42 referrals and you can get this in-game as well at the New Deal Shipyard for 882,200 Alpha UC. Then we have the Aegis Gladius, also from the referral program for only 10 referrals. Why the ship is interesting is because this is often the test bed for new features. So for instance, this is one of the only ships in the game where when you power it on, you will actually see hand animations pushing all the buttons in the ship. Since new features like this is always added to the, um, to the Gladius first, which is why I think this is an interesting ship. You can also get this in-game at the New Deal Shipyard for 1,169,900 Alpha UC. 
Then we have the Origin M50 Interceptor. And this one I actually didn't buy. I actually got this again, part of the referral program for 25 referrals. And this is a dedicated racing ship from Origin Jumpworks. And this is essentially like the closest thing you're gonna get to an F1 car where the uh, 55X is more of a sports car feel. This is just a race car. It has one purpose and one purpose only, that is go fast. You can get it at the New Deal shipyard or Astro Armada at 1,193,800 alpha UC. Then we have the Anvil Hurricane, a heavy fighter, often a fan favorite. I got my hand on this ship again through the referral program for 500 referrals. This is actually one of my latest additions to my fleet. As I said, it is a heavy fighter. It definitely packs a punch. A lot of people really like to fly this ship. If you want to try it out for yourself, head over to Astro Armada at Area 18 and hand over 1,218,300 alpha UC. Ah yes, the Drake Cutlass Black. Probably the most multi-purpose ship available in the game. This is a ship I would recommend everybody to get if you haven't gotten it already. It's super good. It's a good combat ship. You can carry a rock around if you want to go surface mining. Or it also has a little bit of cargo space if you want to do some light hauling. I actually have at least two of these because I bought it both in-game and then I also got it as part of the referral program for 42 referrals. You can buy it in-game, the New Deal Shipyard, for 1,385,000. And 300. Then we have the Anvil F7C Hornet, also something I got through the referral program for 42 referrals, and this is a medium fighter. Not something I fly that often, I prefer to take the Cutlass out, but if you want to try it, you can get that at Astro Armada at Area 18 for 1,492,700 alpha UC. Then we have another Origin ship, this time it is the 350R. A 300 series ship that I got through the referral program for 25 referrals. Among the 300 series ships, this is the racing variant. I would actually prefer to have the 300 series and it's kind of lacking in my collection, I think. So I probably should go and get this. But this specific ship you can get in Astro Armada at Area 18 for 1,602,100 alpha UC. Next, we have another racing ship. I seem to have quite a few of these. And this time it is the Misk Racer. Also from the referral program for 75 referrals. Again, small racing ship. These are always fun to take out for a spin. If, uh, if you don't know what to do, go and fly between the asteroids with, uh, with something small and fast. Then you're going to have yourself an absolute blast. This specific ship, you can get at the New Deal shipyard in Norwell for 1,769,200 alpha UC. Then we have the Drake Cutlass Red. A sister ship to the Drake Cutlass Black, of course. But where the black is the more combat focused variant this is the search and rescue so rather than having a big cargo hold at the back this will have a small met bay i bought this for in-game money and the reason i got this was it's nice to have a small ship or relatively small ship with a met bay in it in case you need to use that as a mobile spawn point so if you're doing anything where you're expecting to die a lot have that ship with you set your spawn point and you'll spawn your ship instead of the station you can get this ship at the new deal shipyard for 1,810,500 alpha UC. Then we have the Isperia Talon. This is the first alien ship we're gonna have on the list and this is a small alien fighter. I got this for in-game money. Um, as we go down the list, you'll see I have a number of other alien ships available to me that I got through the referral programs. I like those a lot, but I, re I would recommend it to Talon and it is really a fun ship to fly. The unique cockpit is super, super cool and the getting in and the out of the ship, I really like it. Unique quantum effect as well. Really fun ship and it packs a punch, really a, a decent fighter, I think. As I said, got this for in-game money at the Astro Armada on Area 18 for 1,854,500 alpha UC. But now that we're talking about alien ships, we need to look at the Isperia Glaive. I got this through the referral program for 200 referrals, and this is a alien medium fighter. So it's slightly bigger, heavier than uh, the, the Talon, um, but again, once again, an alien ship. This ship is not available in-game. You can right now only get this, as far as I know, through the referral program for 200 referrals. Then we have the Misk Prospector. This is the only ship on the list, well, apart from the starter ship, that I got for real money. This one I actually paid for real money um, because I am an absolute mining nerd. I love mining. I think it's a wonderful, relaxing um, activity. And this is, at this time recording at least, the only solo mining ship available in the game. You know, there are bigger ships that you technically can fly solo, but this is intended as a solo mining ship, and therefore it's a ship that it just must have. 
Also, the reason why I decided to pay money for it is because this is my money maker. This is where the credit income comes from. So should there at any point in the future be a server reset, well, I will still have access to the ship that's going to be making me money so I can begin to rebuild my fleet if that should ever happen. You can also get this ship in-game at the New Deal shipyard in Lowell for 2,061,000 alpha UC. Then we have the MISC Freelancer Max. Now, I got this ship because I was getting tired of running my rock, my little surface mining car, in and out of the of the Cutlass Black. It is a little tight fit, but it will definitely go in there. Same with the, with the normal Freelancer. So I got the Max also because I kind of needed a decent hauling ship on my uh, in my fleet. Um, so that's why I decided to uh, to hand over 2,181,500 alpha UC at the New Deal shipyard in Lowell. Now we're getting toward the end of the list and we're getting into the bigger, more expensive ships. And next up we have the Anvil Terrapin. So I think got through a referral program with 500 referrals. This is a scanning slash exploration ship. This is a game loop that's not really that developed in the game just yet. So this one is also a very recent addition to my, uh, to my fleets and it hasn't really seen a whole lot of airtime just yet. It is available in-game at the Astro Armada at 2,568,100 alpha UC. Then we have the Esperia Blade, and this weird looking ship is also an alien fighter. Those aliens really seem to like their fighting ship for some reason. I got the ship with the referral program for 100 referrals, and you can get this in-game at the Astro Armada and Area 18 for 3,370,600 alpha UC. And then we have the Argo Mole. This is the uh, big mining ship that's available in the game. This is designed for groups. It has three mining lasers compared to the one on the uh, on the Prospector. And this is really designed for groups of three, three or four players, I would say. As I said, I'm a huge mining nerd, so there's absolutely no way I could not have the mole in my fleet. And I bought this for in-game money at the New Deal shipyard for 5,130,000 500. And finally, the last and most expensive ship on my list is the Origin Jump Works 890 Jump. Many of you will have seen this. This is the big luxury yacht, huge ship interior with bays both fore and rear. You can store multiple ships in it if you want to. It's an absolutely massive and wonderful, wonderful ship. As I said, I really like the Origin Jump Works design and the 890 jump is just for me a a must-have ship i've taken the ship out for multiple events it's always fun to uh, you have to bring it out bring people on board and fly it around the stanton system even though it kind of flies like an apartment building which it technically is i guess but it's a really fun ship really glad to have it uh, in my collection this one is available both at the new deal shipyard as well as the astro armada and you can get this for 32 million 200 and 94,500. And if I didn't mention it, I got this for in-game money. Let me know in the comment section, what is your personal favorite ship? And do you feel like there's any of the ships that's kind of missing from my collection that I should try and get my hands on? Then do let me know. That's good for today. Thanks for watching and until next time, I will see you guys in space.